Okay, so today let's look at uh, animating a bouncing ball uh, in Blender 2.8. So I will just create a new project. I'll save it as bouncing ball, bouncing ball. And, uh, if you want to get this project, you can find it on my Patreon page so that you can examine it yourself. So I'll delete this cube and add a uh, UV sphere, uh, maybe turn on small shading so that it's smooth. And also we can also give it random colors and maybe shadow and uh, cavity so that our view our viewport looks good. Uh, we can add a plane uh, which will act as our flow. And uh, we can bring our uh, sphere there. Uh, we can expand this timeline. By the way, there is also an, an animation panel here uh, that you can uh, work in. It has the timeline, uh, it has the viewport and the camera view, but I like to work in this layout uh, editor so that you before you go to the animation, you know what panel uh, that is here and uh, its purpose. So let's go back to layout, expand this, <coughs> expand this, and then subdivide this, change this to the graph editor. And uh, so we have this. So let's begin by recording uh, just the location keyframes, and then we can uh, do other things. So let's go to the front view and uh, maybe we can go to wireframe because I can't see this flow. So I'll give it, I'll go to edit mode and uh, extrude it so that I'm able to see it in wireframe uh, like that. Maybe let me turn off the grid for a second. Uh, for some reason it's not turning on, turning off. So let's uh, just leave it and maybe I'll just move this around there. So we, we want this to bounce here, bounce on this here. Uh, let's begin by recording only the location uh, keyframes. So I'll go and add in, go to the keying and uh, record only location. And uh, under auto keyframing, I'll switch on this automatically keyframe insertion using whatever. Uh, so, so that we are only recording the location. So if I start recording and scale the object, you can see we have not done anything. We have not recorded anything. Of course, uh, the object will still scale, but uh, those keyframes will not be recorded. So only the position keyframes will be recorded because that's what we are recording inside here. So I do this because I want to keep my uh, my graph editor organized and uh, so that I'm not overwhelmed with a lot of keyframes. Uh, yeah, but uh, you can choose to record everything and then come in and edit everything mm -hmm. later. But uh, so let's delete these keyframes and uh, scale this down a bit again to that size. Maybe let me turn on this. So let's record it at this at this location, you just hit G and then confirm with your uh, mou mouse button. And then we can move to a different keyframe. So let's say, uh, make sure you're starting at uh, zero. And uh, to move these keyframes, you just select them, right select or left select, depending on what on your setup. And then hit G and uh, move uh, them like that. So I'll move them to zero. So at around 20 seconds, I want it to fall up to there. So let's also end our keyframes to to around 30 seconds so that uh, we don't have to wait for all those keyframes that have no animation. So let's play back. You, by the way, you can use uh, space. You can use the space, space key to play back your animation. You can see this is now falling, but uh, you see it's a bit slow why as it falls and uh, this is because of how uh, Blender is recording here, how re Blender is recording uh, the keyframes. Uh, so it's recording uh, the interpolation using, I think it's called Bezier interpolation. And uh, I don't know, let me see. No, I think it's called the easing type is set to, no, is it? Yeah, I think it's the interpolation is set to Bezier instead. So if you want it to be uh, linear, let me sh let me see if I can explain this better. So the way it's recording this, as you can see, the graph 
uh, here is like this. So it starts off a bit slow uh, because of here. It starts off slow and then the speed increases and then slows down a bit. And that is how uh, the Bezier interpolation works. So you want something more linear like this so that the speed, the speed is constant up to, the speed is it's accelerating I think, but uh, it doesn't slow down at the beginning and it doesn't slow down at the end like that. So you might want to change the interpolation to linear uh, so that when we play, you see, it's constant. The speed is constant. Uh, this, uh, this kind of, this is good when you are, when you are, when you're just blocking out the animation. Uh, see how, see what you want to animate, and then you can change it to Bezier and uh, edit the curves uh, to to edit the speed uh, of how the object flows. So, you see, I think it's constant. This is constant. Uh, the acceleration is constant. Is it the acceleration is constant? Yeah, so it's it's falling down at the same speed, I think, which is the acceleration. But uh, sometimes we want to have control over that, and uh, this interpolation, the linear interpolation, doesn't give you that option. I, you can't really edit that using linear interpolation. You can only do that using uh, the uh, Bezier interpolation since it has those handles that you can control. Uh, there is also constant interpolation uh, which just records, uh, plays back uh, the different keyframes without uh, calculating any th the position in between, in, the in between here. So you can see we have that keyframe and here. And basically this is how, this is usually how things are animated and uh, this is how people start I don't know if I'm explaining this clearly, but uh, this is blocking. Uh, this is how you start uh, to block out uh, the animation. And uh, then you go to linear interpolation and figure out the speed and then Bezier interpolation to, to, to do what? Uh, to edit uh, the different, the animation more, to have more control over the animation. But uh, so the good thing about uh, constant interpolation, I uh, you, you only see the different positions, uh, the, the main key positions are on your timeline. So let's say change this to 100, the end keyframes, and uh, I'll show you how we can block out this animation and get the, bo the ball to bounce from here. So it's bouncing straight down, and then does should do that, and then do this, and then do this, and then that, and that, and that, until it comes to rest. So we are going to block out using constant interpolation. Uh, so the ball will be here, 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 uh, here, and there, and uh, like that, like that, like that. And uh, we're going to block this out in the next uh, tutorial using, uh, using constant interpolation. So thank you. Again, you can find these project files. Let me make sure to save this. Uh, bouncing ball and uh, I'll save another project, save as a uh, bouncing ball constant interpolation so that in case you want uh, to examine that project you can uh, look at that. So 